Please consider supporting me on Patreon or picking up some merch from my Teespring or TeePublic store. Supreme victory! Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Derek Blackman, of course, and uh, welcome back to Twitter Trash. I'm here with... Hi, I think I'm real. What's up, guys? My name is Real. Nice to meet you all. Yeah, man, uh, this guy's up and coming YouTuber. He's actually pretty good. One thing I like about this guy a lot, he, he says whatever's on his mind. He, he doesn't pander. He just does his shit, and Damn, right? you know a lot of people appreciate that. Um, sometimes he's uh, he's a little spicy, you know. A little spicy, just a little bit. A little spicy, but hey, we like a little bit of spiciness uh, every once in a while, right? Absolutely. All right, so fuck it, fuck all that. We're gonna get right into this, man. So we're gonna go to the first fucking tweet, right, meow? And uh, this one is a reply. Okay. This one is a reply. So I don't know the context, but still, just because of you, just gotta hear whatever this reply is to. And it says, "There is no such thing as autism." There is a lack of education, lack of parental care, neglect, brain damage, but no autism. There are thousands of bullshit jobs you can easily do. Ergo, toilet cleaner, putting plastic knives, forks, and napkins into a sachet for airlines, etc. That's incredibly specific right at the end there. Yeah, I don't even know like what, why. Like, like I, can, I can hear the list, like the regular list, like, hey, yeah, you can be a garbage man, you can be a janitor, you can... You can put napkins into the sachet of airlines? Like, that's so incredibly specific. I kind of like it. I think it's creative. He's very, uh, but I wonder, okay, what, you think he's like an Alex Jones type or something? Like, what do you think this is? I think, I think that this, this is running, in, like, completely in opposition to the Alex Jones idea, because if there is no autism, then there is no conspiracy about vaccinations. Oh, that's true. So then, then we're, we're crossing lines now. Okay. And then the whole narrative falls apart. That's true. So I, was, I guess I was thinking more of uh, Paul Joseph Watson, how are you saying there's no such thing as like depression or something like that? Yeah, I guess that's a thing too. That was, uh, so I was thinking, there's no autism and there's no <laughs> depression. But the other thing is that it's, it's, it's an active denial of reality. There are people that are autistic. It, it just, it, it is. And I, I, I wonder what the, what like the end goal is for saying something. To say like, like <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. This is a good one. This is a fantastic one. Okay, so, so all the names are blurred out here. And saying my pronouns are something dumb. First off, you sound vapid. Secondly, you're oppressing trans people even more, so congrats. Mm. The first response that person gets is, hey friend, can you not use dumb to mean bad? It's ableist, but it's a little hard there. And the next person has to apologize. Oh my god, yes, I'm so sorry, I forgot. Thanks for reminding me, little heart. It takes practice, says the second person. So this person comes out and tries to talk shit about how dumb transphobes are for not recognizing pronouns, and then gets ableisted because they said the word dumb. So, it never ends, it never it ends. It fucking never ends. That, that is absolute worst, man. That is like the, what, what is it called, the uh, Uruburos? Like the whole, like, it, like eating each... It's like you're you're eating itself. Yeah, the snake eating itself. <laughs> yeah. Over and over. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like that's that is like the perfect example of, and you can't please these motherfuckers, dude. But it, imagine imagine trying to live in that mental state constantly of like like always looking for something to apologize for, and always looking for someone or something to make somebody else apologize for. Imagine every single day, every waking moment of your life having to live like that. That's no, intense. I'd ra rather die. I would really rather just be dead, dude, because that's not fun at all. Like, what's the point of living for not having fun? I'm saying, if you're not having fun, you probably should kill yourself. Real talk. I'm gonna be real though. I'm gonna be real. I would rock the fuck out of that thing. Yeah, like a, it's like a nightgown. It's like I, I would, I would totally. You know what? No, I'd wear this out. It's That's what I'm saying, out. man. Like, let's. I would. That shit is so fucking just horrendous. <laughs> I would fucking wear it. Like, it's one of those things where it just be you know you ironically wear it because it's it's so bad that it, be, it comes all the way around to being good. But it's like Hillary through the ages. Like, boom. That's like her in like 2008, right? Mm -hmm. That's like her last year. Is that like one? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just think this is a fantastic work of art, dude. I gotta, I gotta give props to uh, Helga. Helga. <laughs> Do you think Hel Helga? I, I actually want to say uh, Eugenia. Eugenia. No, because then it reminds me of that fucking really skinny, scrawny chick, uh, Eugenia Cooney. Okay, so then what about like, like uh, uh, she needs a uh, uh, dumb bitch. Dumb bitch. That's, that's a, but like, it's like. Like there's like with an umlaut? There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then we got this one by Tess Holiday, who is a favorite, I think, in our genre. Uh, just letting y'all know, 2018 is a year of zero fuckery. If you come on my page with comments that are pro-Trump, racist, homophobic, transphobic, or nonsense that America isn't a very broken country, you will be blocked. Don't care if we went to kindergarten together or family. Imagine that. Imagine, like, I actually have a cousin. I straight up have a cousin that posted after the election, like, if you voted Trump, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't care for you. Like, and but, but like that's another thing. Imagine being that divisive about your politics that you aren't willing to see the humanity in the person that's sitting across from you. That's in, that's that's honestly very sad to me. Oh, it, it's fucking terrible because it, it, and it sucks because I've never seen that come from. There's a lot of people on the right that hated Obama, right? Oh yeah. But I never seen anyone's like, oh, you voted for Obama. I fucking hate you. Don't talk to me. I never, literally, not even once, have seen that. Not even one time. I'm not even exaggerating. And all the eight years, I've never seen that. 
and it's not like you, and I'm talking about like on your Facebook on anything easily when it comes to Trump I see this shit all the fucking time I've seen this from people I know personally yeah absolutely. I think people that despise this motherfucker and I'm asking them like yo what did he do to like make you hate him more than like fucking child rapists and shit because of racism and to, uh, xenophobia mm. and transphobia it's I don't like, like the Mexicans yeah <laughs> Haiti's a shithole because it's a shithole. It's kind of a shithole. It's like, it's like, bro, why would, okay, why the fuck would people want to leave Haiti? And then you have fucking Conan O'Brien, right? Acting like, oh, here's, here's the vacation Haiti's in Haiti. so beautiful. Like, it, like, oh yeah, you swear that's fucking, let, that's the heart of Haiti. That, that's where all Haitians live on the coast where all these fucking tourists, you know, go to visit and shit. Yeah. And I love people actually photoshopped those pictures of him like in like, yeah, like the in disgusting, the fucking slums. like yeah absolutely <laughs> that was the fucking best dude no, let's be real let's, let's let's be real for a second though trump saying like why should i have people in from these shithole countries i think is a little bit unfair i think it's it's fair to say that it's like hey man i mean you're the president of the united states for god's sake like like let's let's work on merit like what if somebody does have the training what if somebody would be good for our country maybe it's not not such a good idea to have an attitude that's dismissive of an entire country oh i agree actually yeah. even uh, talking with somebody i was saying that um when he was talking about people and he was saying like, oh, I'd rather have people like from Norway or something, yeah. where it does seem I'm like, all right, bro, you're not helping your 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 case with saying, you know, you don't want any of these, you know, any of these fucking black Haitians yeah. and you're totally cool with getting these white ass Norwegians. And I'm like, I know it doesn't have to, maybe, maybe he didn't mean it that way, but that's the way it's coming off. Absolutely. You gotta have some tact if you're gonna be the president of the United States. I know that, I know we're talking about Trump. I understand <laughs> that, I get it. But it's like, at the same time, you know, it's the highest elected office in the free world. And I'm just like, dude, it would it would really help you to have somebody like maybe write a, write a fucking speech for you before you come out in public and say something like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's, so, that's been his biggest fucking problem. Yeah. And it's also been his biggest benefit. Like, like at the same, it's, it's just like, it's, it, it's back and forth. We can talk about this all day long. It's like, he should have said this, but the fact that he didn't is good for his base. But the fact that he did is, is bad for the, like the media is gonna come after him and it just goes over and over again to circus man. all right so this next one comes from uh, Sarah the reporter she is uh, verified of course because I would say every the verified they always have the best tweets mm -hmm. I don't know what what's about you know being verified on there you just you're just usually fucking dumb usually hey that's an ableist term motherfucker. oh I'm so, I'm so sorry dude. <laughs> apologize now I'm so sorry I'm, I'm taking uh, courses to correct my behavior mm -hmm. And um, Black Lives Matter too, and everything else in between. Are you cucking now? Are you cucking? <laughs> <laughs> this was like the decap win. It never, it never ends. All right, I'm fucking it was some kill myself with some. Damn. Wait, well, set myself on fire. Here we go. All right. All right. Cool. Let's get done this okay, thing. So I'm gonna go. Uh, no. For the fumes, I'm just gonna head out. I'm just gonna. You no, can, you just do your thing. You, Thanks. No, Thanks no. for having me. You must die with Thanks me. Die me. with me. Meet Taylor Swift and Logan Paul, the Aryan monarchs of today's neo Nazis. Now let's unpack that. Let's unpack that. Because what the fuck does that mean? Okay, okay. So we know what. Do you know why people have been giving uh, Taylor Swift shit? Because she's white. Because she's white. Possibly. And she hasn't said that Donald Trump is the devil. Right? She yeah. has. She's been staying out. She's been apolitical, and she said that 2017 was one of her best years. Right. So her having a good time and being apolitical, which I think a lot of people should probably be, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe be a little bit more of. I mean, not being true. completely apolitical, but it should least. encourage the behavior. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so they're shitting on her because of that. And then we know what happened to Logan Paul. But how does that explain being an Aryan monarch of today's neo-Nazis? Look, look, to be fair, if like Richard Spencer, Terry McCarthy, Millennial Wolves, if they got their way and they got their white ethnos, say you know for damn sure they're electing Taylor Swift as their fucking queen. You know for damn sure she's the perfect like, like they. I think I think like Millennial Wolves for sure. It'd be like oh oh yes, uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift is the queen or what. I don't know what the fuck is this Scottish accent. I can see that, but I mean like like and Taylor Swift is embodying exactly what I think a little a little bit more of us need to do is that is that hey maybe you can be happy outside of of. This shit that's happening in, in the White House and on Capitol Hill that does not directly affect you. You don't have to be miserable about everything all the time. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's a better attitude to have instead of the reporter can shove it. Fighting prejudice by being colorblind is like complimenting someone's cooking by saying you can't taste anything. <sighs> well, you, you know you know where that comes from, right? This is this narrative that that because if you're somebody that's on that's high on the privilege ladder and you don't acknowledge 
um, the shared experience of people that are beneath you on the, on the privilege ladder. Because again, everyone that's black, everyone's a black woman, everyone that's a black man, everyone that's a Native American woman, they all have these, the same collective experiences. Their, sure. their lives, in, in this sort of worldview, sure. their lives are worth the same and they have the same exact struggles. And everyone else that, that is above them, anybody that, that might be a male and white particularly, that's the top of the rung, they have a better collective experience all the time, no matter what. And if you don't acknowledge that as a white dude, as somebody that's high up on the ladder, that everyone else has it worse than you, then you are perpetuating the systems of oppression that were that, that were used to build this society and and are constantly being used to oppress um, w uh, women and people of color and trans people and, and non-binary identifying people. It's bullshit. The only way, the only reasonable way that we can ever navigate a social space effectively and responsibly is to is to evaluate people based on their merits, based on the, their value as individuals, leaving ancestry and identity behind. I think that's the only way that we can move forward in, in an effective and positive way. I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> I'm good. I'm done. Warning. This is a real tweet. Like, this isn't a parody account or something. It's actually a real fucking tweet. My boyfriend just texted me to say he's realizing that as whites, it's our civic duty not to have children and add more white people to the world so proud. This, this is why the alt-right exists. Absolutely. This is it, this is it. You can't say that, that is, some, that is racist. Tara McCarthy intensifies. Yeah, it, it totally vindicates their narrative and it adds a great deal of like, of, of, of value to it in, in that we, we, we see very clearly people that have this narrative. That, I mean, they wanna eradicate white people they want to get rid of white people, um, that white people are, are a people to be demonized, who are responsible for the woes of all other people that do not have the benefit of being white. Yeah. Perceiving white as, as this unearned benefit, like, it's, it's insane. And the more that this narrative continues, the more that people will react to it. Every action has a reaction. Absolutely. That's yeah. why we're seeing alt-right talking points yeah. fucking all over YouTube now. When it used to be, when, you know, it didn't used to be shit. All of a sudden you have fucking the number one stream in one day fucking Sargon versus Richard Spencer, where I was like, yeah. I thought Richard Spencer was a fucking old meme. I thought he was a dead meme. No. And it's like, no, because there's people that are like, oh, oh, we gotta not have white babies. And then all of a sudden white people are like, yeah. what? My whiteness. Yeah, yeah, now you're a fucking cuck if you don't want the ethno state too. Yeah, you yeah. fucking cuck. Yeah. How come you, how come you don't want to be out of America, you fucking cuck? And, and uh, like, once upon a time, being red pilled was just like not being a feminist, <laughs> dude. And now being red pilled <laughs> is like is like recognizing the the Jewish cabal that's running the world. Oh yeah. Trying to eradicate Western white culture. JQ fucking um um all about IQ shit. Yeah. He race realism essentially, ethno states. That's what red pill means now, Fuck, dude. Man. They fucking ruined they ruined Kekistan and then they ruined fucking red pill. Make red pilling great again, Derek. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what we need to do. <laughs> I will make red pulling. Red pilling. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was I just had a stroke for a second. That's okay. I think that's Trump's like natural state. It's just perpetual stroke. So. <laughs> Alright guys, uh that that's been enough. I think we've been here long enough. Um he, thanks for watching. Uh uh, you can follow real. Wait, where are you at, man? Um, I'm on YouTube. You can look up Hi, I think I'm real, and, yeah. I'll, and I'll come up. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram yeah. as at, uh, Think I'm Real, all one word. I'd love to see you guys there. Awesome. You guys have a wonderful day, and uh... Jews will not replace us. <laughs> see what else we got here. Um... You know, pull. delicious, delicious noises there, but <laughs> Hey man, whenever I'm concentrating, shit gets a little weird. <laughs> you're just like, like you're trying to read Kafka. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs>